Hello, this is Satbir. In our next few videos, we will discuss the topology of a real line. In this video tutorial, uh, we will discuss the notion of open sets. Before I give you the definition of open set, uh, first I will discuss what is epsilon neighborhood of a point. So the definition of the epsilon neighborhood of a point is given a real number, given a belongs to the set of real number and also epsilon positive we define epsilon neighborhood of A is the set is the set V epsilon A so this is set is denoted by V epsilon A and this is a set which contain all real number which are epsilon distance away from A or in other word it is a open interval whose end point are A minus epsilon and A plus epsilon so if I have to draw a picture if you have a point A then the epsilon neighborhood of that point is open bubble around that point whose radius is epsilon and A is the center of that bubble. So this uh, this open interval is denoted by epsilon of A. So this is the definition of epsilon neighborhood of a point. So now we have the definition of the epsilon neighborhood of the point. We can define what is open set. Uh, a set O, which is a subset of uh, a real line, is open if and only if for all element, for all a belongs to O, we can find there always exist epsilon which is a positive so that you can construct the epsilon neighborhood of each point of the uh, set O which contained in the set O. So this is the definition of open set that every point of the set uh, can be put in an open uh, bubble and that bubble is always contained in the set O. There are a few examples. The first example of the open set is R. R is an open set. This is an open set. The, the reasoning for uh, that is that uh, if I take uh, element A belongs to R, I can always find epsilon if I take epsilon is equal to 1 and I make a bubble around that point so A minus 1, A plus 1 that will be an open interval or in other word this will be a neighborhood of uh, that point A and that is always contained in R. So therefore the uh, real, real line is an open set. And another example of a open set is uh, uh, phi which is the empty set and uh, the uh, proof of uh, that example is basically vacuously true because since there is a no point in that set so we don't need to find any open neighborhood which is entirely contained in that set so this proof the proof of that example is vacuously true our third example is open interval is an open set uh, since if you take any element from this uh, set let's suppose I take x belong to this open set then I can construct epsilon uh, by taking the one half of the minimum the distance between x and a and the distance between x and b and as you can see, I can show you this from a picture how you can uh, construct such epsilon. So if you have A and then you have B, uh, let's suppose this is a A and this is a B. And if you pick any element X 
then you take the distance from uh, a and x and divide into half and then you take the distance between x and b and divide by half and then you can pick this uh, open interval as the neighborhood epsilon neighborhood of x where your epsilon is one half the distance between x minus a and x minus b so clearly uh, this neighborhood uh, which is you construct with that epsilon of x is entirely contained in that interval a b therefore the interval a b is an open set next i have one quiz problem for you to practice uh, please pause the video for one and two minute and work on this problem next we will prove the following important result on the open set so let's begin the proof in the first statement, we need to prove that the union of an arbitrary collection of open set is open. So first let me write down what is a given. So the given is we have a collection of open set, let's suppose u of alpha, where alpha belong to some set, countable set, capital A. So that make the arbitrary collection, that collection can have infinite many set and it is given this collection is open means each set uh, from that collection is open and what we want to show we want to show that the union where alpha belongs to this capital a uh, u alpha alpha so this is an arbitrary union we want to prove this is open in order to prove that this is open we need to take a arbitrary point from this set and prove that there exists a neighborhood which is also contained in that set. So let's begin with the proof. So let, I'm gonna pick a point, let A belong to this union where alpha belong to this capital set A, U of alpha. So if A is belong to this union, uh, it must be belong to at least one of them. Therefore A belong to U of alpha for some alpha belong to this set. Since u of alpha is a open set, this implies there exists epsilon positive so that when you construct the neighborhood of using that epsilon of A that must contain in u of alpha for some alpha belongs to where alpha belongs to this capital. Since this set is contained in one of u of alpha, this implies this also will contain or it also will contain in the union of where alpha belongs to capital A u of alpha. And this is by the uh, definition of union. So arbitrary union, it means if uh, the element is belong to the one set, it will also belong to the arbitrary union. And this is what we wanted to prove uh, that for each, for every A belongs to this arbitrary union, we able to find a neighborhood which is also belong to that union or this implies this union uh, is open set by the by the definition of open set. So this complete the proof of part number one. In the second part of the theorem, we need to prove that the finite intersection of open set is open. So let's first write on what is given. So given is a collection Vn, where n is one, two, three, up to uh, some finite number n. So this is a collection of uh, open set uh, is open, so that is given. And also this collection is finite. This, this is the reason I choose n, one, two, three, up to n. So they have n uh, element in that collection and each element in that uh, uh, collection is open. So what we want to show, we want to show the intersection n vary from 1 to capital N of the set Vn is also open. Again, I will start by picking one arbitrary element of uh, this intersection. So let A belongs to the intersection 
n vary from 1 to capital N V n. So what this implies? This implies A belongs to V1, A belongs to V2, A belongs to V3, and so on. A belongs to A belongs to V capital N. Since V1, V2, V3, and uh, so on, V and they are all open. So this implies there exist neighborhood V epsilon 1 of A, which will contain in V1. Uh, here, there will exist the neighborhood V epsilon 2 of A, which will contain in V2. And similarly, V epsilon 3 of A, which will contain in V3 and so on v epsilon capital n of a which will contain in v n so now i will take epsilon as the minimum of epsilon 1 epsilon 2 and so on epsilon capital n now i will uh, construct a, a neighborhood v epsilon of a uh, clearly, V epsilon A is the smallest interval which contained in V epsilon 1 of A, V epsilon 2 of A, V epsilon 3 of A and so on. So in other words, this interval is also contained in each V1, V2, V3 and up to V capital N. So it's contained in each Vn where N is varying from 1 to capital N. So since this interval contained in each uh, Vn, so this is also will be contained in the intersection of 1 to capital N of Vn. And this is by the definition of the intersection. So also this proves that this intersection is an open because we pick, we pick arbitrary element and we were able to find a neighborhood which is completely contained in uh, uh, this intersection so this implies the intersection n vary from 1 to capital n v n is open also you can notice from this proof this intersection must be finite because if this intersection is not finite uh, we will have this infinite set and if we take the minimum of infinite set it may be a zero number uh, but epsilon must be a strictly positive number so to have that uh, basically condition on the epsilon which is a strictly positive it is only possible if the uh, the intersection has finite number of element also let me give you the counter example of uh, infinite sets which uh, in, whose intersection is not open so this is a counter example so if i consider this set uh, v n as uh, 1 over n negative 1 over n 1 over, and positive 1 over n and if i consider the infinite intersection 1 to infinity of this v n we can prove that this intersection only contained the zero element and that set which contain only the zero element is not open is not open and as you can see that this each uh, Vn is open, but the infinite intersection of uh, these Vn is a singleton set A0, uh, which is not an open set because you cannot find a open bubble around uh, uh, this set which is contained in uh, that set. This is the end of our video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.